Well, this should hold us over until season two. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's up? My name is Nelson, and today I am talking about The Witcher, Nightmare of the Wolf. Escaping from poverty to become a witcher, Vesmir slays monsters for coin and glory, but when a new menace rises, he must face the demons of his past. Well, that's pretty much all I want to say without giving any spoilers, but yeah, this, uh, this movie was epic. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, the voice acting was on point. Theo James, uh, who voices Vesmir, he... He really killed this part. I, I I really I really feel like he was he was great voicing this character, but um, yeah, this uh the animation in this movie is 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 pretty incredible. Um, I really loved it. You know, I'm a big anime fan, so uh, so you know, with I, I love to see great animation, and and honestly, it's so good and cinematic, and all the you know the energy blast and the spells and stuff, and like. You know, all the explosions and all that. It just, it, it looks so cinematic. And I was just like, man, I would just, I'd love to have seen this on a big screen. I mean, I really would have. And I, I would have, I, I take my money. I would have went and saw this in theaters. But it, it's cool. It's streaming on Netflix right now. And, you know, I got to watch it on my TV. But, but uh, yeah, real, real good animation. The storyline is, is, is awesome. And it's just, uh, it's nice to see the guy who trained Garrett because you know Garrett's this awesome dude who uh who we all know and love and it's cool to see the person who trained him because like and you can tell you can tell some of the ways he acts and some of the things he does and even some of the fighting styles and stuff you you can tell that that's that's who trained Garrett and that was I feel like that was really really well done um, like every character, every character in this movie is very, very compelling. There really wasn't a character that I didn't like villain or hero in this movie. And that was really, 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 really well done when you, you can make, when you can make me lo love all the villains and all the heroes in this, in, in, in a movie. That, that's, that's really what I, what I'm looking for in these type of movies. And, and really with it being animated, I would have loved to have seen this in live action, to be honest, but honestly, it being animated, there's just so much that they can do with, that you, you can't do in live action without a huge, huge budget, so I feel like that was really, it was a good choice making this, making this anime, and, um, so, but I love how, I love how he's mowing through all these monsters, and just, and he's got, like, this huge smile on his face, I just, I really, really love that, and it just, it just, that's, that's kind of like the difference. He isn't, he isn't, he's a lot, a lot, Gar Garrett is a lot like him, but at the same time, I feel like Garrett's a little more, uh, serious. This guy, he's, you know, he's got, Vesmir, he's got this, he's got this, like, humor to him. I mean, yeah, Garrett does too on, on The Witcher a, little, a few times, but, like, uh, he's got this like he's got this nice humor quality to him, and I, I, I that made me really really like his character a lot. And the 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 monsters throughout this movie, they for being animated, they are actually pretty pretty terrifying looking monsters, and I, I I felt like that was really really well done. And there is a character witchers don't age as quickly as humans, so it kind of jumps from when he it, you know it it jumps back and forth from when he was younger to to when he went to present to where we are and um and he he grows up and he's got a he's got a, a a female friend because it's been years and years and years it's been been like 50 plus years and he has not really aged as quickly and now this person that he liked as a kid is much older and he tells her how beautiful she is and she's like i'm nearly 70 and he's like yeah <laughs> so am i and i i really thought that was like a pretty beautiful scene and the emotions too when he sees her you can just see on his face just the emotions and that's coming back to how great the animation is too but um i, I really i you could really see the emotions on all these characters faces and I, I thought that was that was really nice there was a scene in this movie where 
Velmir is put under a spell by one of the demons, and uh, and it goes back to it, and, and it takes him to a place where he where he wants to be and where he desires to be, like to be with the love of his life, or you know different things like that. And he he he's got to fight to to stay in reality, and he's got to fight. This isn't real. This isn't real. And he's got to he's got to fight it off. And I really thought that was an intense scene, and it's probably my favorite scene of the entire movie. Basically, the only negatives of this movie for me is the fact that uh, sometimes the storyline, it's a great storyline, but sometimes it's very, it's very jumbled, and you gotta really, really, like, pay attention to what's going on, and just, just, just when you, if you watch this, really, really pay attention, and, like, honestly, second watches are gonna really, really help for this movie, I feel like. But that's kind of like a, a little bit of a complaint for me. And the score at points in the movie, it might just be my TV. I'm not too sure. But the score kind of overshadowed some of what they were saying. The score is great, by the way. I didn't even say that. The score is amazing. Very, very great score. But yeah, it kind of oversh it, it overtakes what they're saying. And I can't, I couldn't understand some of what they're saying. I had to put subtitles on just to, just to understand everything they were saying. But that's basically all of my complaints for this movie. I had a blast watching this. This was really, really awesome, and it was really cool to see, uh, and it was really cool to get something, a little bit of something, really, really, to before The Witcher Season 2 comes out. I've been waiting forever to see that season, and it was kind of like, yeah, I get a little bit of taste of something, you know, and it, I love seeing a little bit of a prequel. I loved it, and just, just to see the guy that trained the, you know, awesome character that we see the amazing Garrett you know and it was really really cool to see that so I really really enjoyed myself throughout this movie um so but like I definitely recommend it I, I honestly I might I might watch this I might watch this again one more time because I'd like to rewatch this and then rewatch the whole entire season season one before season two comes out I think season two is coming out uh, October I think I, I'm not I'm not don't quote me on that but um but yeah I had a really really good time with this movie for my score, I'm going to have to go with an 83%. Like I said, I really, really enjoyed myself. I don't have a lot of complaints. But if you like what I'm doing on this channel, like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Nelson Reviews. Follow me on Letterboxd at Nelson48. Peace out.